I love vultures, and I just learned something today about bearded vultures that frankly blew my mind. It's day 16 of 9 November, and bearded vultures are these really unique looking and I think gorgeous vultures whose tails are longer than their wings are wide, and whose heads and necks are not entirely naked. Probably the reason for that being that these are the only vultures that specialize in eating bones. 85 to 90 percent of their diet is just the bones of dead animals, and they will either eat them just by swallowing small chunks whole, or if the bones are too big, by carrying them over 300 feet into the air and dropping them so that they shatter into smaller pieces. And by the way, they can do this with bones that weigh almost as much as they do. And if tortoises are common in the area, they will sometimes also be taken and treated in the same way as large bones. So, uh, they're not an entirely peaceful bird. Still, like all vultures, they are absolutely crucial members of whatever ecosystems they inhabit because, as you can probably imagine, all kinds of health issues arise when rotting corpses are allowed to just remain. And of course, vultures are super helpful in taking care of that problem. Probably the most famous case, or at least the one that I've heard the most about, literally has its own Wikipedia page. Basically what happened was there was a, a particular anti-inflammatory drug that farmers were giving to cattle that was poisonous to vultures, and it only took a few decades to absolutely decimate their population, going from around 40 million to less than 20,000 individuals. And this has been uh, really bad because livestock carcasses left to rot instead of being cleaned up by vultures create so many more fertile places for bacteria growth, leading to, for example, the number of diseases that rats can carry that can be transferred to humans, as well as skyrocketing the number of cases of dogs with rabies, which of course can also be transferred to humans and is, again, really bad. So although they might seem kind of creepy and gross, vultures are our friends, and luckily people doing important work in animal conservation have recognized this. For example, there is SAVE, which is Saving Asia's Vultures from Extinction, which is actually a consortium of many groups that are all working toward this goal. Unfortunately, regrowing vulture populations takes a long time because vultures live to be pretty old and they reproduce really slowly, but there has been some success stories. The bearded vulture, for example, was once almost driven to extinction, and although it is still Europe's most rare vulture, in the space of just 40 years, the population of bearded vultures in the Alps is firmly re-established, making it one of the world's most successful wildlife comeback stories. Also, I just learned earlier today that if you and a group of your friends accidentally get summoned to the vulture dimension and are asked by the vulture king to answer a riddle, don't worry about it. It's multiple choice and there's only two options. Anyway, if you know, you know, but I just watched that earlier today and was like, well, now I have to make today's episode about a vulture.